Hello everybody and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We do have the R5 wheelbase with the factory R5 wheel and down below we have the pedals that came with the R5 bundle. We have two pedals so we're going to be doing drifting with only two pedals with a gas and a brake. No handbrake just using the R5 bundle itself. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media all the description box below. <laughs> Let's get to it. So the purpose of the video is to show you guys that you guys can get the R5 bundle, take it out of the box, and be sideways very, very easily, even with no clutch. We're going to be doing this without a clutch. Basically, we're going to be using power over and the weight of the car to get this thing sideways. We do have a 240 here. But before we do that, we're going to do a quick look at what settings I have. As you can see, we only have gas, brake, and that's it. We are on 900 degrees of rotation. And for our force feedback settings, we are on 900. We have road sensitivity at 10. We do have the game force feedback all the way turned up to 100 in our wheelbase. 50% wheel speed. We've turned off back to center. Mechanical dampening is turned or a mecha yeah, mechanical dampening is turned off. We have torque limit all the way up at 100. We have inertia set to 150. And then we have mechanical friction at 20 and everything else off. So this is the settings that I found feel really nice on this R5 for drifting. So with that being said, we're going to go full send on this. So we are in at Clutch Kickers, which is a track a lot of people drive. And it's a pretty easy track to be able to just do second and third gear. So without a clutch, we're just going to kind of rev drop it in neutral. We are using the paddles, we're not using our handbrake or anything like that. So this is basically R5 if you dropped it out of the box. Get a power over. Get on throttle. Kind of let the wheel float through our hands. Use a little brake there. Kind of use the weight of the car. A little left foot brake there to keep us in check. A little bit shallower than I wanted. Kind of fell out of boost there a little bit. Oh, I pushed the brake like it was clutch. <laughs> Power over in the sec in the third. Kick it down in the second. And this thing just feels so so good, even on with no clutch or handbrake. I'm trying to keep my uh, foot away from that brake because I keep stabbing it like it's my clutch. But we can we are gonna left foot brake a little bit there. Too much left foot brake causes you to obviously stall out like that. This car is also not super, super crazy powered. That was the wrong pedal. Kind of like a downshift grab through it. Kind of to over the car, kind of power, you know, out it and drifting in it. As you can see, we can actually run some decent lines with no clutch with two pedals because I know a lot of people comment on the video I don't have a clutch can I still drift the answer is yes and can you drift on the R5 bundle straight away the answer to that one is definitely yes use if you put those settings on this feels really quite good I think we're going to take a look at the replay of this and then we're also going to switch to say one of my cars a V8 car and see how that works The wheel feels super smooth, super crazy. And yeah, I kind of just let that go, and it kind of just floating through my hands. Got plenty of self steer and plenty of road feel in this R5. There we go. Now, a matter of trying to. There it was. Oh, trying to find the paddle uh, and keep in boost without a clutch is a little, little bit uh challenging to say the least but it is totally possible to just throw the weight of the car around and get the car totally sideways and have a good time you can still utilize your left foot brake like we are just smashing the brake right now using left foot brake so you will be able to throw tandems with using utilizing like left foot brake to stay behind somebody so drifting with the r5 out of the box is so satisfyingly fun it kind of reminisce back to original days when I first started out on a wheel when I only did have two pedals 
Take it in the third, then we're gonna go this way. And we're gonna throw it and downshift in the second. And there we go. Nice quick initiation with only two pedals, no clutch. So take a look at that replay real quick. So we were able to pull some pretty decent lines, like I said, with the factory R5 right there is kind of where we bogged it out. I think this is where we kind of third and then quick flick down into second. So it is totally possible if you guys don't have clutch pedal or handbrake or anything or even a shifter, it is totally possible to get sideways and have fun with just two pedals and a wheel but this r5 bundle feels super good out of the box with those little settings changes that i showed in the beginning of the video with doing the force feedback all the way up you don't have to have it that way i do that because it gives you so much road feel and it feels so good and i can't get over how smooth the r5 is when it comes to this and i mean we were throwing down some decent lines in this 240 so let's go grab a va car we'll be right back all right, so we got one of my V8 cars now from my car pack, the C7. So we're gonna go full send with the C7 and see how this car feels on the factory R5. I think this is gonna be a third gear car. Yep, third gear car. Use that left foot brake a little bit to stab us in there. Oh, a little bit wide. So for all those people out there that only have two pedals and don't have a clutch, you don't need it. <laughs> Fourth gear hit. Bend your back. Use the brake. I went to go grab my handbrake, but I didn't. Kind of used the brake to keep my angle where I wanted it to. Kind of left foot brake in there. Kind of utilizing left foot brake right now to uh, maintain angle in the car when I want to, or to help transition to basically break the uh, car's weight bias around, break the weight distribution around. See right there, I kind of just held the left foot, I held the brake in with my left foot to uh, kind of unsettle the car and we're getting down with this car definitely need to uh, throw some tandems around and see what we can do in a tandem aspect with running just the R5 and only gas and brake with no clutch it is totally possible Kind of looked away for a second, but I want to take a look at that replay because we were actually getting some pretty solid lines with this car. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll let you in the description box below. If you guys are thinking about picking up your own R5 system, link will be down in the description box for you guys to go get to the store at Mazda and pick up your own R5 system. Now, like I said, the R5 feels super nice drifting on those two different cars. So. We're going to be doing more testing with other cars such as little drift tour cars and things like that that other people would be in. Uh, I do also have to probably switch back to my triple pedal setup with so I can get ready for round 5 of ESDA because trying to compete in ESDA with only two pedals might be a bit of a disadvantage without using handbrake or anything like that. So we're definitely getting some super solid lines. I can't get over how good this R5 feels out of the box. Very minimal settings change, very minimal everything, and we were out just ripping. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all that you found in the description box below. If you guys like this and you guys want to keep seeing more about the R5 system, let me know down below. I think this was a pretty hard flick. Yeah, I see that was a pretty good line. It was a really tight line. It wasn't all the way out, but we managed to do the full track. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all that you found in the description box below. I'd like to thank you guys for coming back for another episode. A big thank you to Mazda Racing for the R5 system and the R5 bundle. Can't thank them enough for being a supporter and a partner of the channel. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.